Hey guys, so I conducted an interview with one of my longtime buddies, Mike. He works at Riot Games, and I invited him because I thought <laughs> I thought it'd be good to talk to somebody from the gaming industry. Uh, he is the only person who I currently know with an actual job in the industry. I asked him the best questions that I could think of, but I wanted to keep it short. So after watching, if you guys think that you wanted to hear a little bit more, you want me to ask a little, some more prying questions or some more specific questions about something, let me know. That's what the comments are for. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys too. So thank you. Enjoy the interview. All right, Mike, can you please tell me your position at Riot Games? What do you do? Uh, so I am a systems engineer. Uh, I've been there for 10 years now. I started out as an OCT technician, and then around 2013, I transitioned over to a sysadmin systems engineer role. You know, my day-to-day -day job is kind of managing the software and sort of the servers that the developers, you know, spin up for the game. So mm -hmm. I'm developing software that either you know, makes it easier for them to spin up mass amounts of servers or uh, monitor it. Uh, something's going wrong, you know. And these are servers that are strictly for League of Legends or they're all of Riot Games servers? No, they're all of Riot Games. Um, okay. You know, it's kind of, our stuff is game agnostic. You know, what I work on, like it's not, we're making the League of Legends thing yeah. or the Legends of Ruterra thing. It's just, we make a thing that makes it so you can spin up servers. Yeah. What you want to do with them is your prerogative at that point. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit here and just get more into your job for a moment, and then we'll come back to it later. But I'm curious then, are you working with a large team underneath you and a few people above, or where are you in the ladder, so to speak? Uh, I mean, I'm no, I'm an IC, which is an individual contributor. So, you know, I'm on a team with you know, three other engineers. Small and to we, my ears. Yeah. Sounds small to me. Yeah, you know, the the teams in my department or whatever kind of, uh, you'd say, siloed or whatever. There's mm -hmm. not just one giant engineering team. It's, you know, like this team is working on, you know, this sort of project. And, you know, there's a team of five people working on some other, you know, project. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what? how long have you been there and how long did it take to kind of move up? Because you said you started as one and then now you're in a bit of a higher position. So what's that time? I've been like? there. I've been there for ten and a half years. Uh, you know, I started in 2011 uh, as a network operations center technician. So, yeah. like, you know, that's people that sit there and kind of you're answering watch. tickets. <laughs> yeah, 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 more or less. You know, you're you're watching graphs and stuff and seeing like, hey, you know, there's a dip in you know active games here. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously something's wrong. So, you know, go and alert whatever team you know would be handling that yeah uh you know you make tickets stuff like that i did that job for i'd say a year and a half I just moved up to a kind of a system administrator role uh, which is yeah you know, you're kind of dealing with the systems at that point you know that's who the knock would call generally if something is broken you know like hey you know the player count dropped 30 percent here mm -hmm. can you take a look at what's going on are you, yeah, this is maybe specific to the pandemic, but are you uh, on call then? Are you working basically around the clock or are you hourly, whatever, daily? Uh, the team I'm on right now, I'm not on call. Uh, the The previous team I was on call uh, and it, it's a rotation, you know, yeah. each guy takes a week or whatever. So okay. yeah, you get paged at 2 a.m. or whatever, it's, you know, <laughs> so I'm saying something's broken. And... Uh, I guess at this point, the company's so big that you're probably like a North American division and there are other engineers and whatnot for European servers, or is that not the case? No, nope, it's not the case. Um, it's, you know, completely mixed. Um, you know, I've had Europeans, Canadians, you know, people in Korea on my teams and yeah. stuff. There's no, generally there's no like an engineering team doing a specific thing for a specific okay. country. No. Got it. All right, let's get into a little bit about you, because aside from you working at Riot, I'm sure you grew up 
probably playing some video games. I don't think he just came out of school and was like, hey, this company uh, is probably good to work for. So give me a little bit about your history growing up, if you can remember like your earliest console, your earliest favorite games and that kind of stuff. So my earliest console was, you know, an NES. Uh, had that since I was like three or probably earlier, you know, with my parents or whatever. Mm-hmm. See, so, yeah, I mean, you know, I had NES, then a Super Nintendo, and then 64, and then, you know, like PlayStation 2. And Wait, who's buying all of these things? All that up. <laughs> Birthday gifts and oh, stuff. Man, that's pretty sick. I mean, we had a lot of consoles, too. I can't complain, but are you an only child? No, uh, I grew up with a brother. Okay, and he was uh, in the games, brother. too, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny that you mentioned getting the NS at three years old, because I, in one of my videos, which will be posted around this time, I just uh, mentioned my earliest NES memory was when I was three years old as well. What was your favorite yeah, game? I, mean, uh, I don't even remember <laughs> back no. then. No. Not Probably like Mappy, like a Mappy Land or something. It's a very... That's obscure. Like obscure game. Yeah, yeah. seriously. It's a okay. Obscure game. What? <laughs> if you wouldn't go look it up, it's very <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I know that you've uh, given me a little bit of flack sometimes for like still being obsessed with certain Mario titles. So what? You just weren't into that series from the very beginning. I mean, obviously the NES came with you know the original Mario. It, it was yeah, fine. True. I'm just you know not a huge like platformer guy. I guess you know I yeah. played more shooters and stuff. Yeah, and that happened with a switch to pc or no before that uh i would say i guess a switch to pc like you know i i played doom and you know duke nukem 3d and stuff uh, and i guess those were like the earliest first person shooters i played and then i think like tribes one was probably like the game where i got mostly serious about like playing fps tribes one how far you know, back do we need to go for that because I can only think about like Tribes Ascend, which is basically I Tribes think... 2, right? No. no, no. Well, uh, sure. I think it's like, <laughs> uh, I think it's like around 1999, 98, wow, somewhere okay. around there, I think. So it's not like, you know, super old. You're between it's 10 and 12 old. at that point, right? Uh, I was born in 87, so yeah, 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we got a four year gap between us, right? So FPS, that's what you started getting into. That surprises me right now. But again, we can kind of get into that. I have a quick fire question for you after that involves FPS, maybe. Do you have definitive favorite series then? Like, would you say, oh, yeah, Doom? I know you're playing the latest Dooms. Um, I mean, Tribes has been my favorite game. Tribes 1 and 2. Mm, okay. Kind of crap after that. But I don't know. I, I guess those are my favorite like series or whatever. Did you try to get into uh, Titanfall too? Or they're just not similar enough? No, I've, I've never played Titanfall actually. Just wasn't interested. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> fair. Um, okay then. I also know a little bit about you and that gaming is not your only hobby. So when did you get into hockey? Which from what I know is, I mean, I can think of maybe four hobbies that really define you. Hockey's the other sport, the thing that you play. When did you get into that? Um, so when I moved to St. Louis around 2016 or so, I'd say, uh, is when I started doing that. Um, when I lived over in California, I, you know, did a lot of surfing or bodyboarding. Okay. And then obviously in the Midwest, it, you can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I picked something else up and, you know, uh, just went to hockey. Yeah. And I've ice skated before, so I didn't need to learn that part. Okay. A ton, but... You obviously got a lot better when you started playing hockey, and now you're a proficient yeah. skater. <laughs> hey. Now, hold on. You say California. Was that only a move for the job at Riot? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I lived up in Washington before that, um, and, you know, I was going to school. Then, you know, I got the job offer partway through school, so mm -hmm. I dropped out of school, moved down to California. Are you able to just interest. provide a few more details for that? So, like, give people a bit of a timeline. If you don't mind getting into that now, what was the education focused on? And then how did you go about applying to Riot? Uh, so the college classes I were taking was taking, it was, you know, just community college, some, like, you know, network engineering courses, which mm -hmm. I don't use too much anymore. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, it was, like, partly to kill time. 
uh, and you know just kind of look for a job in that field because that's just interested in the computer field really had you heard about riot or not riot because like back during the beta we would have just heard about league of legends and riot was just some unknown company making league right so had you heard of league at that oh, point okay. yeah for sure uh you know i was in, clo in the closed beta 2009 i guess um yeah. so so definitely but, yeah I, the whole way through college i was playing league of legends yeah you know because i was just there for like a year and a half i would say year year and a half do you remember what that application looked like or how that what that process looked like for riot specifically <laughs> yeah um so you know there's two phone phone interviews uh and then you know like I'd say about a month after those, you know, I was invited on site. So I got on a plane, I think around 6 a.m. Oh, man. I had to fly down to L.A. Uh, it was about eight hours of interviews with, I want to say about 10 people. And then, you know, getting back on a plane at like 8 p.m., 8 or 9 p.m. and, you know, getting home midnight. Yeah. At what point it then? It was a very eventful day. How long <laughs> after that day did you you know, get the okay and said, wow, I'm moving to California. I'm out of here. Uh, I want to say it was about a month, you know, wait after that final interview, you know, they said, yeah, everything went well, but you know, I didn't get like an offer or anything yeah. until about a month after. Uh, and then, you know, he's, you know, got a start date like two months after that or whatever. So yeah. it's like, okay, you know, I'm moving. Enough time to find a place to rent or whatever it was. And yeah, enough. Time. Yep. Yeah. Man, that is crazy. That, good for you. Also, you did that really young relocating. I feel like it's probably more of an American thing, too. Like Americans are maybe a little more willing to travel state to state. But like here in Toronto, people maybe, are just, yeah. oh, my God, I can't leave the big city. I can't go to like work in some remote <laughs> Ontario town, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, you you got to stick your neck out a little bit, you know, for opportunities. Mm -hmm. You can't just kind of stay in one place and hope for the best. But I guess you also saw it. Did you see it as kind of stepping up and like not to put down where you were living before, but was it an upgrade since, man, I'm going to go to California? Were you at least uh, starstruck or anything? No, I, I'm <laughs> not like a starstruck person or whatever, whatever about California, you know. Yeah. Uh, it was you know, a job that paid well, you know, and there's obviously advancement opportunities and, you know, I really enjoyed the company. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it was, it was good to go to that. But like, as far as like, yes, California, no, I could not really matter. Okay. So anything like discovering kind of the, the water sports and you're out like on the boards and everything, all of that just came later. You're just like, well, I'm here. I want to do something. Let's look for some fun things to do. Yeah, uh, I always really liked the beach, um, but, you know, I lived hours and hours away from it, yeah. you know, but while I lived in California, obviously, you know, I'm about 10 minutes from the beach, you know, at most. Um, it's like, oh, you know, like, you know, surfing or bodyboarding looks pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I picked that up. It sounds dreamy, like this opportunity, because you're so young. It's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's basically a, an upstart, relatively new company. I'm actually surprised yeah. that they had their headquarters in California for their first video game, unless I just don't know Riot H Games history enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, they were in California. Was it a relatively small team at the time, if you can remember? Ten people interviewing you is already a lot. So the whole company was probably around 300 people um, when I when I joined. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the knock had, I want to say, like, five people in it and then that's a 24 7 thing yeah. so you know you had five people spread about that whole time jesus um so you would be in there with like one other dude <laughs> most of the time you know you make some best friends there hopefully <laughs> yeah you're in a uh, I, it was like a you know eight by 20 room or whatever so yeah, it's yeah. a pretty small room you know with just like a bunch of tvs in front of you with you know all the graphs and stuff on it it's so, like you guys yeah, are yeah. in a little network tv van or something just 24 yeah, 7 it was, uh... yeah it was pretty tight in there was there <laughs> i remember uh and this is probably something that everyone experiences whenever you queue up for a game like that any kind of a moba 
and you happen to get some staff on your team or the other team, it's just, oh my God, I'm playing with so-and-so. So did you guys do a lot of like inner uh, parties? Like, hey, let's get five people from from Riot. Let's queue up together. Was there a lot? Oh, of yeah, yeah. Yeah, that definitely happened quite a bit. That's pretty good. Still close yeah, with anyone who you started with? Or has... Uh, you know, there's a couple of people that I still talk to, um, you know, but other people have kind of gone to other gone companies or out. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm also curious then, did, it's not really a small company at all. And if you're saying a hundred people, California based, so I'm guessing you got hired into that role and there was never any need to kind of borrow bodies from other departments for anything. It's not like anyone ever borrowed you to do any play testing or something like that. Right. Um, no, I, I was part of the Legends of Terra, you know, I don't even know what phase, like proof of concept, I guess. Okay. Level That's pretty back cool. in 2012. Um, yeah, so I, I did a lot of play testing of that way back in the day. A completely different game than it is now. Yeah. It, it was a card game. That's about yeah, and... the only relation. I'm getting uh, all my years mixed up just because I don't know where the last few years have gone. But Runeterra released far after, long after 2012, didn't yes. it? Yeah, 2019, I want to say. Holy. 2020, maybe. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, so it, it was in development for yeah about 10 years, probably. Uh huh. Safe to say, with such a long tenure, well, I don't know if you have tenure. Let's not use that word exactly. But with lots, such a long stay at your company, you're obviously enjoying it. It's a good time for you. So if other people are looking at getting into this aspect of game development, I don't know. The gaming industry is huge. Like there's so many ways that people get it, can get in. But to take your route, what should people learn? And what do you think would also interest people? What kind of people would be drawn to a job like yours? Um, so like specifically for like what I do, um, the type of people that enjoy it, it's like problem solving, really. Uh, that's kind of the biggest part mm -hmm. of what I do. Um, but then to like kind of get into that role, if you have like zero experience um, besides I play video games, <laughs> uh, I would say, you know, learn how to navigate Linux for sure, like the command line of that. Uh, learn Vi or V, however you want to pronounce it. Um, Man, it's all a made up language to me anyway, so you just talk. <laughs> uh, bash programming would help that uh, Python, you know, both of those are you know used in scripting a lot, so mm -hmm. you'll be able to get your foot in the door in like a knock technician role for sure with that. Uh, you know, kind of learn a bit of the network engineering side of things. Uh, you know, it really helps with your problem solving thing if you can understand the network stack. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm guessing, like any job, though, there's you want to go into it knowing as much as possible, but you must have learned a ton on the job, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, for sure. Uh, you know, you can't, like, learn everything outside of a job and then expect to plop down to a job and know how to do all of it perfectly. There's going to be a lot of unknowns, especially mm -hmm. kind of on the software side. It's like, have you used, you know, like, X service before? Like, no, <laughs> I've never even heard of that. <laughs> um, so there's definitely a lot of that. Um, Hey, but you managed. Did you manage? Yeah, you learned. Yeah. Did you manage because, um, like, give me your experience prior to this job, though, and where you would have been using your programming or any of your skills prior, if at all? So, I mean, really, it's just kind of a hobby thing. Like, I did a little coding in, you know, high school and stuff, mm -hmm. but it wasn't or anything. It's just like, oh, I'm going to pick this up and learn it. Yeah. Um, kind of same with Linux. Like, you know, I was messing with that all throughout high school. Just, yeah. This was became my job. This was your first job then with uh, these kinds of skills. Uh, yeah, for sure. Wow. You know, before that, I like either worked in like a factory or fast food or yeah, like, yeah, yeah, anything unrelated. That was it, though. That's man, good for you. I feel proud of you, knowing you for so long, or that you've just climbed the ranks. Like, now you do it. Is it basically safe to stay you started from zero and now you're here relatively close to the top? Oh, I'm not close to the top at all. <laughs> <For your laughs> in the middle. Um, no? Okay, middle, middle. I is mean, good. I don't know, senior level or whatever. I don't know. Okay, um, okay. 
but yeah i mean yeah just work out yeah good stuff anyway all right we'll slow it down now i think that we got a good a good chunk for people to sink their teeth into we'll keep it here around 20 minutes or so and i'm gonna get you to the last section unless they're you're like dying to share any little tidbit about your work or something <laughs> no okay cool ready quick fires moba or fps uh probably still fps wow fps or rpg uh probably still fps fps or in supreme i'm surprised okay tabletop and like playing in person or virtual kind of single player rpgs like a Baldur's gate uh, versus dnd with your buds i'd rather play dnd with people well, we've played for sure yeah <laughs> wait it's oh no more fun than oh you did pick solo. that yeah oh, okay i thought you were saying i don't really play dnd i was like what oh no no no. yeah no yeah Tabletop for sure. yeah you go for the social experience i'm not surprised by that either which game has the best music uh final fantasy 11 by far okay and once again i'm wishing i kind of spent more than 20 minutes playing that game <laughs> uh, i'll take your word for it though unrelated to gaming what's your favorite movie uh hackers yeah. 1995 classic <laughs> yeah okay it's a classic that probably no one's heard of that's good uh, i'm sure a lot of people heard of it they showed <laughs> on tv and stuff <laughs> all right it's last easy. one and this is the most important question i need to know who's winning the stanley cup this year uh i don't know maybe the avalanche yeah kind of on the streak right now that's not far-fetched people are either going to pick the avs or tampa i guess it's like not much else yeah. to go for. Hopefully not Tampa. I agree. Hopefully not Tampa. Man, thank you, Mike. I appreciated you sitting down talking to me. I, yeah, no problem. I think we're going to get a part two out of this at some point, too. So hope you'll look forward <laughs> okay. to that. Sure. All right. Thank you, man. Have a good one.